This video is a short simulated counseling session demonstrating the basic communication skills of asking questions and probing for concreteness. Good to see you again, Terry. I have the forms that you filled out last time about types of work you might be interested in. Did you want to continue our discussion about work? Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, I just, I have so much on my mind that I guess it, it doesn't make a difference what we talk about. Hmm. Can you tell me a bit about what you're concerned about? Uh, I mean, I, I do need a new job. I'm bored at work all the time and I barely make enough to make ends meet. Uh, my job is only part time, uh, but I, I, I'm just worried a lot about everything that's going on at home right now. now what's going on at home? Uh, well, like last week I talked about Sam and I made it seem like things are great between us, uh, but they're, they're really not. Things are, things are pretty screwed up actually. Hmm. What do you mean when you say screwed up? Well, lately it just seems like all Sam wants to do is just go out and party. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm okay with partying and everything, but just not the way that Sam has been doing it. It's, uh, to be honest, the situation is a bit of a mess at this point. Is Sam's partying getting to be a bit too much for you? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, it's just really messing up with uh, my work. You know, I stay up late at night worried about when Sam's going to come home. So the next day at work, I'm all tired and grumpy. Um, the money is going, so uh, I can barely keep up with our finances. Um, and then when Sam is home, all they can talk about is, you know, when they're going to go to the next party, and otherwise they're just sleeping. When did you notice this change? About two months ago, the restaurant closed and Sam lost their job. Mm -hmm. How has this been impacting you? Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't even know why I'm there anymore at times. Um, but I, I, I guess this is what a relationship is supposed to be. I don't know, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really confused. Um, I never lived with my birth family because of, you know, all the drinking and stuff. Uh, I was in and out of foster homes, so I don't really know, uh, I, I don't really have a good idea of what, are, of what a good relationship is supposed to be like. Um, I guess there are things that I like about being with Sam. Mm -hmm. Could you share an example of that, what you like or what some good times might be like? I don't know. We like, uh, we like getting out of the city. Uh, sometimes we just hop on a bus and we go on hikes. There's this couple that we've known for years and we really like to hang out with them. Uh, we cook a good meal. I don't know, sometimes it's just nice to sit around at home. But just the simple things, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to have much of those kinds of times lately? No. Uh, we don't have money for, for fun these days, unfortunately. Have you tried talking to Sam about this? Uh, yeah, I've, I've tried, um, but I didn't do a very good job. It, it just all fell apart. Actually, it always falls apart when I try to talk about what I'm feeling. What does that mean when you say it falls apart? Um, like, I... I'm able to start good, and then it just, uh, I, I don't get very far. Hmm. Could you give me an example of a time when that happens, when it, when it falls apart? Well, like the other night, I, I tried to talk to Sam about, uh, you know, all the partying. I, um, I talked to them about being worried about our finances, our money. I tried to talk to them about, uh, how they have no energy to look for work because they're hungover a lot of the time. I started to have this conversation and within a minute, I just, uh, I, 
I was really, I got really afraid that they were going to get mad at me. So I just stopped myself. I shut up and I said, everything's fine. Perhaps you're starting to feel that Sam doesn't care about your concerns. I just, I worry that he's going to get angry with me and I don't really know why, but I just, yeah, there's that, there's that feeling I have. Well, what do you think you would need to be able to have that conversation and to share those feelings? I guess just finding the right words for it and maybe the right time. Um, I'm just really not very good at these conversations. Do you have an idea of when might be the right kind of time? Well, next Tuesday we have a plan to walk around the seawall, so maybe, maybe then. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And how about, do you have any ideas of how you might start to frame that conversation?